welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. I'm CC Survivor, and today we're going to be moving away from my magical endeavours and moving into industrial again, getting back into my roots. But first, I'm going to show you what I have done with magic. So here you can see some of the aura nodes I've collected, and behind my glass wall there is a hungry nose which I have warded the glass and stone around it so it does not eat the blocks because that's what a warded, uh, warded node hungry node does so yeah and why am I getting so much lag okay so if we come down here I have finished off the Mana beam farm, as you can see. So, yeah, I think I don't know. I might extend this tree so it grows up here. I don't know. Well, it looks like it's growing up here. Just do it manually. But yeah, so the mana beans you saw all that last time. What you didn't, apart from decoration, what you didn't see is this, which is my um. Herba Essentia Extractor, which is melting down oak leaves for Herba because they only contain one Herba. So there's no waste products. Which is then getting sucked into the Essentia Mirror and getting teleported over to the Essentia Mirror on top of the Silverwood Logs, which is then feeding the Lamps of Growth and making them speed up the growth of all the mana beans around here. Now, you may be wondering, what's that redstone alloy, and what does that button do? Good question. We come behind here. All it does is it turns off the input of oak leaves, disabling the whole thing. Pretty much. Just a toggle latch that when the button is pressed, it switches state, so it's on that way, it'll be on this way, and redstone signal will be output it and turn off the input of oak leaves so I can control this farm now let's go take a look at how many mana beans I now have I also linked up the ethereal essence to be at this place as you can see plenty of stuff loads of them however it hasn't really gone so evenly. We've that got 100, 100, 196, 28. It just drops. Something doesn't seem right here and I don't understand why. And don't ask me why. But yeah. If anyone knows why it does that, could you tell me please in the comment section because it is confusing and I would love to know the answer. So. As I said, we are going to be moving away from our magical endeavours and moving back to our roots of industry. So, I now have 3,000 buckets of UU Matter Plus. So, I need a use for this, to put it simply. So, we're going to use it to make items. Eerie noise. If we go into the IC two machines dot processing if you go into here um I see two machines processors and shift left click it'll bring them all up here. So what we need is the replicator, the scanner and the pattern storage. So for the replicator we need some teleporters, some high voltage an MFE teleporters, pretty simple, some advanced circuits and this frequency transmitter which is pretty simple and reinforced stone and reinforced stone okay there might not be a recipe for reinforced stone does any of these need reinforced stone okay that isn't good um I might need to check the wiki and see what the actual recipe for reinforced stone because I do know any iron IC2 have had 
many compatibility bugs in the past for recipes. So give me a second, fig let me figure out the recipe for the reinforced stone and I'll tell you it. Right, so this is apparently how you're supposed to make reinforced stone blocks. So we need one of you. This may take a while. So what you need to do is you need to make CF sprayers and you don't need the map backpack but I think I will just because and you need to spray some iron scaffolding with this CF this construction foam that's what CF stands for and then you need to apparently apply sand to it so iron oh I might know why the iron's not working it may just be because it doesn't know how to make part of its ingredients um, just give me a second Go on, give me the recipe and this is the recipe for that CF powder ah yes iron fences um, oh. ah they're a bit more complicated to make than I remember one second so this is what I believe you need to do you need to take your you need to take a canning machine um, the one that looks like this not the other one and set it to fluid and rich mode get some CF powder and stick it here and it'll start working and that should create CF foam stuff uh, somewhere is that it? I can't remember oh yes yeah, she put it there I don't know how much construction foam this can hold nor do I know how much that can hold but I believe I will need five buckets of construction foam one bucket creates one CF powder well will allow me to create one stone um, words get mixed up one reinforced stone block so once we've got this we can see whether this will work let's hope I haven't wasted all my time okay so it holds that much so we'll lay down this iron scaffolding you apparently right click turn it into construction foam and right click it with sand okay it's apparently true so that is how you make that uh, I haven't even put that on free Oh, it doesn't use the full amount, and it. Okay, that's interesting how that works. Oh well, no matter. Um, let's get this reinforced stone. Oh, it's reinforced stone. This may take a while. And as we break the last block, we now have all the reinforced stone we need to complete this. So we'll put you up there, put you up there, and I'll decide on what to do with you in a bit. So let's go back into this. Uh, no, IC two machines processors. So we need to create a replicator which requires some teleporters, which requires that lot. Um, you know what? Let me get the ingredients ready, and then we'll make everything. So now let's put in the machines I made them off camera because it was too awkward of crafting so yeah I also put them into the A network to auto craft them because it's a lot easier for it to do it than me do it so we're just going to run some glass fiber cables along here so we can get some power to it although the pattern storage doesn't need power the replicator and the scanner does so scanner can go there pattern storage can go there and replicator can go there and they'll start filling up with power now it may seem as if it's not filling up with power don't worry it has a metric bookload of power and I'm going to turn off you so we can try and see it filling up it, it, has, it can store thousands and um, does it say no the things at the top don't say but they can basically store a lot now what we need is some um, what they called crystal memory and 
I've programmed my system to use the Mimicite to smelt the crystal memory so it gets two. Just like I was doing with the ME processing chips. So let's have a look how long it's going to take, what we've got left to do. Alright, so to make it, you need to put four clay dust into a thermal centrifuge and that'll make you one silicon dioxide. And to make clay dust, you macerate a block of clay, which gives you two clay dust. So quite a lot of clay to make a memory. Plus you need four obsidian um, dust to make one of these crystal memories. Fortunately, I already had that set up. So what's the first thing we're going to replicate? Well, scan. That will be iridium. Iridium, if I can take. Where are you? There. Which I have six of. Which I do believe is from dungeons. So let's see. Um, need some crystal memory. Two of them. So if I am correct, you go into the scanner. No, 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 no. Um, no, it goes into pattern storage, I believe. Right, you does it go into pattern storage or does it go the no storage? I can't remember how this does exactly. Um, scanning now, I do believe this will take a while. You might actually not need these crystal memories, they may just be for actually moving the things around. I can't quite remember. If it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. But this is going to take a while. And with it nearly complete. So if we click save, it adds that to our crystal memory. Then if we come over to our pattern storage, put the crystal memory in here. Import from crystal memory. And now we have it stored in here. And we can make a ready more. Now on screen now there should be a list of all the items that you can scan according to the wiki. So yeah so you know what you can use. So um, what I also want is somewhere to store these. Um, I know what I, pro I probably need a filing cabinet to best store these items. Oh, and I know exactly where I can get a filing cabinet from, because I had an old filing cabinet down in the Formcraft area, which I removed and was planning to use for something else, but I do believe I have another one in storage, so it doesn't matter, so thank you. I'll just borrow you. Okay, there's banging downstairs. If you can hear it, sorry. And if we come up here and we put you here, this is where I will store all my crystal memories because they they have different metadata. Because as you can see, it has the item iridium and all that. They won't stack in a chest, and the best way to store unstackable items is in a filing cabinet. And we'll put you there for the next item I decide to scan. So now that we have that, if we come over to our replicator and we cycle through the patterns, oh we can make this. Now, I need a way to pump in the fluid. Uh, hmm, what do I want to put in the fluid? Let's see. Um, where's the fluid export bus? And I need a, oh no, no, um, cell. Is it? I need an empty cell to take you, you matter. Come over to here, pick you, you matter. Take one of you. Right, so now we need a fluid thing. Okay, what's taking so long to craft? I know this is complicated to craft and all, but really. Okay, what are you currently doing? Can you please tell me? So, fortunately for me, if you look at how the structure of this building has been constructed, we've got this little cobblestone connected texture thing here, which allow me to fit this fluid export bus right here, because unfortunately, 
these cobblestone chisel things don't quite work with facades so we'll tell it to export you matter I do believe these have a huge internal tank and we can put some emmy cable okay just drop it on the floor after a lag spike and it should be filling up with you matter so that means we are rearing and ready to go also I have to like do this kink here so because that's the outside wall so I can get the cable around here and also I might want to put the right block back that is that one. Well, that actually really doesn't matter. Oh well. Um, so let's tell it to make a piece of iridium. So it's currently inputting the EU, and then I think it's going to grab the EU, EU matter second. So we'll just finish up this, like so. I think that looks nice with that mm, no yeah that looks better something didn't seem right then um so you are currently sucking in you matter how much you well there you can see it's 22,000 buckets of you matter and a million EU that's nice and cheap isn't it not also Look at that funky thing it does with NEI. I always knew that NEI and this didn't quite like each other, but really, that's some funky. Just greenification. It's eco. Maybe it's because I'm using nuclear power to power this. But yeah, so I'm going to wait until this is completed this piece of. Ure no. Iridium, and then we can see what we can use Iridium for. So, after a very long time of waiting to produce the Iridium ore, we finally have one. Now, what do I want to use this Iridium for? Well, keen eye among you may have noticed the quantum armor over here. Now, to make one, Irid to make your quantum armor, you need your Iridium Force plates which is four pieces of iridium ore. So let's count how many plates we're going to need. We're going to need one, no, two, four, eight, ten, which by my calculation means we need 40 iridium ore, which means I, does this change, oh it changes into industrial, I hope, oh I best check that recipe, I might have set it in the thing to use the other ore so that means I'm going to stick this on repeat run and catch you lot in a bit for you instant for me time to do some revision and watch some YouTube videos <laughs> right so I finally have the Iridium ore after a very long time it's been so long it got so late, once it was done, it was too late for me to record. So, I'm going to put this in here, and we're going to create our quantum suit. So, we want the boots, the legs, the chest, and the helmet. I have quite a few things already pre-crafted, just to try and speed it up. So, what does this suit do? Well, it allows you to do similar things to the suit that I've got on now however one well, main feature is its armor is completely impenetrable as long as you wear the full suit until it runs out of power it has a built-in jetpack built-in water breather um, built-in running speed built-in loads of stuff um, feeder let's see what uh, what we're missing oh you're creating lapis dust and you're creating that oh <laughs> right, seems like I forgot something. Uh, let's see. Scuba helmet. Scuba. Will that bring it up? I don't give me them because I need now. Now I need to go to my inventory and ask for rubber balls. Ah, there you are. Two, 
Whoa, I have a lot of rubber balls. Okay, that's a lot more than I realized I had. Why did I have two? I only needed one to code it. No matter. So, yeah. Let's put you away and let's see what you're up to now. So, it allows you to do a lot of very powerful stuff. Okay. Oh! Ah. Hmm. It won't be able to macerate if it's busy doing other stuff, will it now? Uh, turn on the lever to turn it off. And take out our uranium. Urania? Uranium. So, yep, it's exporting the lapis lazulite dust. Or lapis lazuli dust, however you want to pronounce it. And it's just getting more dust. So, yeah, it's very powerful. Now, I want to see which one's better, because I'm not sure if this has hover mo mode built in or if it's just like the normal jetpack that it originally adds. Hopefully, it adds hover mode. If not, I'll live without ho hover mode. Yep, so it's making everything. Uh, let's go grab a arm stand by clicking on the right thing. And of course, it's spelt the opposite way. Right, so uh, we have our quantum, 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 and quantum. Let's put. Uh, whoa, we like the. In here oh I think I have a lot of plutonium as well so I'm just gonna let these charge up and then we'll be back so here is the quantum armor being worn and fully charged now this is what it allows you to do the helmet will negate potion effects wither and radiation although don't try carrying radioactive things around with you it will drain the power from your helmet like there's no tomorrow as I found out a bit before. Um, the chest plate has two features in it. it well, yeah, mm, two features that are one, so to speak. It has the, um, what's the controls? I have to look at, uh, let me just bring up the wiki dig quick. You won't be able to see this. For the chest piece, it is, um, where are you? You have to, Use your IC2 boost key plus your mode switch key. So, yeah. So, if you go into controls, your boost key and your mode switch key. So, for me, my boost key is R. And mode switch key is button 5, which is an extra button on my mouse. Not everyone will have that. So, I hold R. Press this mode switch. Quantum jetpack enabled. Then, if you jump you'll be able to fly around. Now if you press that button again, you can a enable and disable hover mode, which is a very, very slow descent and as ascent. And as you can see, you can turn it on and off and jetpack off. Whee! And that is the ability of the boots. If you saw in the bottom left, it's your ability drop down to 26, meaning it is a shock absorber. You can also run very fast by um, natural. Um, if you use your boost key, which I have a C, oh no, is it R? Yeah, your boost key is R, which I have, and press and jump. You can also jump very high, boing, boing, and if you time this just right, just as you start running, you can. There's a glitch work. You can jump real far, but I can't quite do it. So yeah, that is the quantum suit. Now I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna go with, quantum suit or the other one. They both look very nice. Also, the helmet can refuel your food for as long as you have. I'm trying to get used to these controls again. Um, canned food in your inventory. So as soon as I go hungry, I'll lose some of this canned food, which is made by putting a can. In here and a piece of food and having this set to quite obviously and sensibly canning mode also lots of RTG power loads of these radio thermal isotope electric generators 12 to be precise which is producing 16 plus 16 uh, 32 wait there's 12 here 12 times 16 come on I should be able to do this 
Oh man, why can't I do this? 892. Took me a second. I'm horrible at mental maths. Yes. So, yeah, that's the quantum suit. And that is you, you matter, into iridium. So, yeah. It's up to you. You can decide what you think is best. But me, I'm not too sure. I'd sooner have the quantum suit. Also, if you have the full armour, it should protect you from all incoming damage. Although, it did say on the wiki, wiki there is a bug. However, some of the wiki articles aren't quite up to date, so I'm not sure whether it's been fixed or not. Maybe I'll need to take a test. I don't know. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you did like it, hit that like button to show your appreciation. Got any questions, comments, whatever, stick it down in the comment section. Don't forget, I've got my 100 subscriber special coming up, so you lot can decide on what I cook. Link is down in the description. Also, the link to my Twitter and Twitch account. Stay well and survivor out.